Hello all, it is Lilo the Libra, aka Lilo's Aqua Moon, however you know me by, and today I'm going to be doing a, sorry I'm just adjusting my camera, today I'm going to be doing a water sign prediction, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces prediction for mid-April to mid-May. Keep in mind that the dominant element of your chart may affect your energy the most so see what sign you are dominant in for an example i have an air sun air moon air mercury um lots of air in my chart so i am an air dominant that is the video that will resonate with me you take whatever it is that resonates with you for some of you you have a fire sun air rising so you might want to watch um the air element video as well because you have an air rising just pay attention to what is dominant for you whatever sign you use when you look at your horoscope which whichever like horoscope really resonates for you that is going to be the element that you want to watch so this is all water signs um disclaimer do not please do not replace any of your medical professionals like doctors therapists psychiatrists with tarot videos if you feel like something is wrong if you feel like you need a little extra help please go and do so do not replace any medical professionals with tarot i can help you with the spiritual however if you feel like something is wrong please go to a doctor okay a professional also these are extremely general readings M multiple people watch these readings these are for multiple people take what resonates leave what doesn't do not try to make something apply to your life if it doesn't resonate. I try to pick up on all the energy I can, but if I miss something, it happens, you know? Um, what else? What else? Also, I live in a very noisy environment. I live in New York City, Brooklyn. Um, it is really hard for me to get a very quiet space. This is like the quietest I could get it. I'm trying, y'all, okay? Until I get a soundproof studio, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> All right. Um, so I already started this video, but then I fucked it up. I did something really dumb. Um, so I'm restarting this video. I didn't get super far in the last video. I'm, I, I also feel like I've missed a couple points. So I'm actually glad I'm getting the chance to restart. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is some shuffle mancy. This is the Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Carr. And I realized um, that this is like the perfect video. I mean, the perfect book to use for spring right springtime is here springtime is coming we are going to use this book so shuffle mancy is basically when i just go like this and i get and don't mind my nails also by the way they're horrible um but shuffle mancy is basically when i get a random page or a random number and i read that page to you guys or a part of that page um, and it will resonate in some way possibly for you. So let's start with that mid-April to mid-May for water signs, spirit. Beautiful. So we have this one. I wonder where she hid him, her brother who had died only a year before, as she sat in a costume of red silk and gold on her wedding day. She tells me it was the saddest day of her life, how she could not finish sorry how she had not finished mourning yet a year was not enough there was no way to grieve that quick it felt like a blink of breath before the news of his loss had sunk in the decor um was already hung up sorry i can't read y'all the guests had started strolling in the small talk the rush all mirrored his funeral too much it felt as though his body had been carried away for the cremation when my father and his family arrived for the wedding celebrations amrik singh 1959 to 1990 that is very very hard um i'm gonna elaborate on why i think this popped up for y'all don't like panic i know that the topic of death could be very scary do not panic okay do not <laughs> i promise okay so we have i am sorry this world could not keep you safe may your journey home be a soft and peaceful one rest in peace and then we have so um we have um the earth with a bunch of hearts i love this little drawing okay so first and foremost some of you guys may have a loved one that may have passed around this time um last year or a couple years ago i know that covid is very relevant and trigger warning that may be very in-depth but 
you know, grieving is definitely a very hard process. It's definitely a very emotional one. Automatically, I feel very much like heart expansion, um, heart chakra. It's not so much pain, but it's just like the release of emotions that must happen for y'all. So if there's someone you're still grieving, even if you didn't really physically lose them. So like, say you lost a partner or like someone like that, um, or you, you're in separation with a partner, if you're still grieving that loss, right, because any death, any loss is harsh, even if it's not like a literal physical one, if you're still grieving the loss of someone, if this is still a transitional time for you um, in losing a loved one or losing someone that you loved, even, like I said, even if it wasn't like an actual death, um, it's still very hard. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself the emotions of grief. Even if you feel like it's been years, even if you feel like it's been, um, way too long that you've been grieving or way too long that you've been dealing with these emotions. Listen, um, energy is very fluid. Energy lasts forever. You will always feel these things even if, it happened years ago um energy is very much weird in that way um but learning to accept it is really something that will bring us a lot of peace and a lot of um a lot of healing as well so accept that you may still have feelings for something or someone or accept that you may still be grieving a certain situation never allow anybody to tell you that you shouldn't still be grieving in any way or you shouldn't still be dealing with the emotions of something in any way because that is something that you can't really control so just putting that message out there the crystal that i got for y'all this month or this time period is in um golden and hydro herkimer and it's a very beautiful stone i love it so Basically, Golden and Hydro Herkimer is, um, I'm not going to read this out because I feel like I've been talking too much already. So, um, this helps promote transitional periods in your life. So, if you're going through a transition in any way, whether that be physical or that be mental, emotional, um, spiritual transition, you might want to um, invest in some Golden and Hydro Herkimer. Of course, you do not need anything, any external tools, material things to be spiritual you are inherently spiritual you are a soul with a human vessel all right um just letting that be known okay so let's get into love for this time period for y'all i kind of already got a love message some of you guys are really letting someone go or allowing the process of letting someone go to fully take place um but let's really see what's going on for water signs mid-april to mid-may spirit water signs mid april to mid may in love what's going on in love for water signs mid april to mid may 2022 cancer scorpio pisces please come through as clear as possible nice okay so we have oh and these cards wanted to come out as well nice so we have paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other so some of you guys are really having fun with someone some of you guys may be going on vacation with someone literally going to a paradise type place um a tropical place palm trees beaches white sand that type of energy some of you guys are going alone or some of you guys are going with people that you love this doesn't have to be a partnership type of situation but this is definitely about emotional healing when it comes to love you guys are seeing a new scenery or planning on seeing a new scenery and that is really helping you okay so if you're thinking about going to a certain place and you have the means to do so for any reason go do it i think that it's a good idea we have engagement ring engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union so some of you guys are coming into union and my ears are ringing hella um as i say this but some of you guys are coming into union that you were meant to come into union with for a very long time now um but i also just feel like you may be in union with yourself as well this goes a lot of ways i feel like a lot of you guys are developing a strong sense of self-love as well but also like um and here we go they're like cutting up the freaking floor on my block so i don't know what the hell is going on up there but if you hear anything i'm very sorry but yeah and then we have i like you so someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date the message that i got about that card last video that i tried to film for this i got this card last video by the way for, by the way for y'all so i'm really happy that it came out again but 
what I really felt for that card is that some of you guys are realizing, realizing that you don't really love someone, that you like them. Um, and that is because you realize something about yourself. You realize something about your self-worth and how you see yourself. And it may not be exactly what you completely thought it was so some of you are like admitting that you just like somebody or some of you guys are realizing that your feelings are a little bit deeper than you thought they were maybe you were just trying to be friends with someone and it seems like you have a little bit of deeper feelings like this can go many ways um but overall i just feel like you guys are coming into more union with yourself okay lots of lots of like coming together with yourself understanding yourself what's going on with your energy and what happened with what's happening with your feelings okay you guys are taking your feelings into account but also like if you're in like a really strong um partnership with someone like i i feel like that is also like a good key to like um this paradise energy you know like you're not only in paradise with yourself but you're bringing other people into the paradise that you see for yourself which is very beautiful um but yeah just be aware of that energy of like thinking you love somebody thinking that you're in love with somebody but it might just be lust or it might just be like you really strongly liking someone or the idea of someone there's a difference between all of those please get in tune with your feelings because that will avoid a lot of like the the false energy also we got like the twin flames card in the last reading and now we're getting like soulmates on the bottom of the deck so and then look soulmates and mask so be aware of like the labels you may put on certain connections in your life um labels aren't always everything okay realize that even if you feel like this person is your soulmate or your twin flame you don't have to be wrong but that should never be an excuse to stay in something that makes you feel incomplete or unwhole you know because clearly that means that there's something going on within you that is making you feel that way and that needs to be worked on okay um don't accept the bare minimum from anyone around this time okay what's going on in love for water signs mid-april to mid-may spirit please come through clearly So we have finances and career, which we're going to touch base on in a sec. We have let your friends help you. So some of you guys are going on vacation with your friends or planning a trip with your friends, which is really nice. Going out with your friends, um, talking to your friends. So it says ask for and accept support from others. So with that message from earlier when I was talking about grief and like really heavy feelings, some of you guys may not be necessarily grieving anything, but still going through a really hard time allow your friends to help you Sp speak about your feelings okay speak on your feelings express your feelings if you gotta cry cry um a lot of you guys are trying way too hard to be like hard in situations um and then we have wedding so that's interesting some of you guys are getting engaged you guys are really actually getting engaged or you are engaged um take that as it resonates okay some of you guys are too young to get engaged <laughs> no i'm kidding um it's it's whatever you want right but keep in mind if that does not resonate, that is like a very specific message. We also have soulmate on the bottom of this deck. Um, so some of you are very well dealing with your soulmates. I don't deal with the, um, I don't really talk much about the like soulmate twin flame experience that much. Soulmate's a little bit more than twin flame because I do offer a soulmate reading. But yeah, like I, I feel like the categories and labels don't really matter that that's what i'm gonna say but um yes yeah, some of you guys are having maybe troubles in finances and career and it's really important that you guys focus on that right now so love is definitely being like um distracted by finances and career but it seems like you guys have something really good going for you guys in love like there's not a lot of drama here there's not a lot of drama at all um which is normally the case honestly when i do love readings so i like this energy just be aware of like any overly lusty type of energy i kept getting the message of flirt as well so a lot of you guys may be flirting with people and people might take that very seriously people might take that like as oh my god this person's in love with me but no y'all are just flirting or somebody's like flirting with you and you got to be aware of like the difference between someone flirting with you and someone wanting really something like serious with you um but that's just a message for some of you 
But yeah, this is about like new scenery, new seeing new places, getting away from where you've been, um, to just enhance that that healing energy, especially when we have golden and hydro Herkimer, that crystal, sunshine, vitality, and joy with Sagittarius energy. It's giving like summer. Y'all are so ready for the summer. Y'all are so ready for hot weather. Um for most of you, if you live in that like type of climate change, um, like seasonal change. I know some places are hot year round, some places are cold year round. Um, some of you guys are just ready for a change in like that weather, okay? But what's going on in love for water signs mid-April to mid-May spirit? So we have Siete de Cups. Which is the Seven of Cups. What else? Justice. Some of you guys have options and you guys have to decide. Okay, you guys are deciding. Some of you guys have a decision to make. Do you want to marry this person? <laughs> if you did get like um, asked or if you're being proposed to, some of you guys are going to hesitate. I'm not going to lie. Some of you guys are going to hesitate. Like I said, some of you guys think that something is deeper than what it is. Nine of Wands. And one more for Water Signs. Love for water sign, spirit moon, mid-April to mid-May. All right. La Empress. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. So we have Libra popping up. You could be dealing with a Libra. We also have Taurus energy popping up. We have Libra energy twice, so that's very relevant. And then we have Diez de Wands. Okay, so that is Ten of Wands. What I'm feeling here is there's a lot on your plate all right there's a lot on your plate when it comes to this and i wouldn't expect any less because y'all are water signs but you have a lot going on right now like these arrows are going in every which direction you have the siete of cups which could be confusion and not really knowing what to do there's a sense of needing to balance your heart and mind because your heart right now is kind of torn in many places this is what i was talking about with this engagement ring where i feel like you guys are coming into union with yourself um, there's a lot of potential in a lot of different areas for what it is that you want and what it is that you would like. I do feel like you guys are sitting in a very attractive, very magnetic energy for what it is that you want. But some of you guys are just very split on decisions, okay? What is it that you really, really want? I think your friends could help you like weigh the pros and cons. Maybe you're dating three or four people. Maybe you're dating two people. Maybe you're, maybe you were dating someone else, but you realized that you had deeper feelings for them, and then you got into a different situation. Like, it's this energy of needing to make this grand decision about what direction you are gonna go in, because right now you're just a little confused. There's a lot going on. There's a lot that has happened. There's a lot that is influencing your outer experience right now. A lot of inner internal work that is influencing your outer experience right now i think you guys look beautiful you look you look really good you're attractive um you might post lots of pictures on instagram or might like you might post lots of pictures um with the intention to like look flirty or look attractive which is okay i don't really you know i don't think there's anything wrong with that but that might also be causing like this this uproar in like people trying to get at you people trying to be a part of your life and things of that matter and that might create a lot of confusion here i also hear like there's a lot of ties still you might still have a lot of ties towards people or ties with people and that energy could also be confusing you you know i think that there's just needs to be like a breath of fresh air here which is why paradise is here so take a lot of time for yourself right take care of yourself self-care days um, where you're doing like ritualistic baths you guys are water signs work with water go to the pier go to the beach you know what i'm saying go in that water wash yourself off visualize yourself cleansing any of this energy that is too much for you because i feel like that's what's happening right now you need to harmonize and balance yourself you need to come into union with your heart and your mind so that you can make sound decisions because i really do feel like y'all are just very much torn in many different places 
Um, a lot of you guys are still torn in the past. A lot of you guys have like a lot of people around you right now in love um, that could just be really like confusing the shit out of you. You guys could also be confused with somebody else, like somebody else you have like a cord tied to or a bond to or some sort of intimate relationship with. Doesn't necessarily have to be physical, but some of you guys are definitely in a situation where you're realizing like their energy is rubbing off on you, their confusion, they're, they're not knowing what to do. Some of you guys are not taking the lead on certain situations. You guys are being very passive. It's time for you to stop being passive because that like non-decision making or you not wanting to make a decision is creating a lot of confusion and um chaos in your inner world in your mind you know what i'm saying so definitely take the time out to think on situations also allow your friends to help you allow your friends to um help you make a decision what do they notice from you? What are what are some things, you know, obviously allow the people that you trust to make this decision with you or help you make this decision. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing in love. Um, let's move on to career. Somebody wants like a higher, also I, I forgot to mention, somebody might want like a higher commitment with you and you're just like not into it and you have to let them know like, hey, I like you. I'm not sure if I'm like super into you, but yeah, that also. All right, let's see what's going on in career for water signs, mid-April to mid-May spirit. What's going on for water signs mid-April to mid-May? Please come through clearly what's going on in career for water signs mid-April to mid-May. Career for water signs April, mid-April to mid-May. All right, so we have Trust the Great Mystery. And you guys got this card literally last reading, which I'm glad the cards are repeating because... It really helps okay so first things first we do have a lot of water energy here we literally have the star first starfish and we have the whale I feel like y'all are incredibly smart and incredibly bright especially in the area that you want to go into I felt like there was a lot of creatives here who are um, freelancing okay that's why the mystery is here so some of you guys are freelancing or thinking about freelancing so um providing a service so for an example what i do is i provide a service and what really i depend on is word of mouth i also depend on like my consistent posting and stuff like that to get somewhere you know my heater is about to be really loud i am so sorry like i said it's so hard for me to get a really quiet environment but it'll go away soon i promise i'm very sorry about that um, but yeah, so like a lot of you guys are depending on the great mystery, right? Like what's to come for your finances and your career. A lot of you are taking a lot of chances around this time or wanting to take chances. I will say take that chance, take that risk because a lot of things can happen in this time period. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that are working out for y'all at this time when it comes to career I feel like this is a very this might be a time where not a lot is happening not a lot is like picking up or making sense in career for y'all but I feel like there's just this trust especially if y'all are in tune with your like water sign intuition remember water signs are very very much in tune with the with the emotions which have a lot to do with feelings um which is intuition right so pay attention to your intuition pay attention to how you feel certain things i feel like y'all are very much feeling like you're about to be something great feeling like you're about to do something great embark on something great right the the possibilities are endless for you but there's some fear here there's definitely some fear here of doing what it is that you want or doing what it is that you feel called to do so um if you are actively doing what you feel called to do, I definitely feel like there is 
also like trust in that because a lot of the times the things that we feel called to do aren't very traditional especially for our bloodline especially for our um circumstances or situations so we often have to really trust the mystery with those so yeah what is going on in career for water signs mid-april to mid-may siete the cups this is what i'm talking about you have a lot of decisions to make a lot of decisions not only in love but now also in career said a lot of things are happening around y'all and with y'all a lot of people are influencing your decisions possibly a lot of people's energy are into influencing your decisions um page the bitcoin some of y'all are really sitting on a golden egg let me just say that some of y'all are really sitting on a golden egg you guys have this idea um something that you want to do something that you've been wanting to do but y'all are just afraid to do it or y'all haven't made the decision to do it yet make that decision it's time to make that decision you know um with the siete de cups i feel like y'all are the jack of all trades y'all have so much happening for y'all um and you know, I also feel like y'all may have failed in the past at something that you really wanted to do and that's kind of like scarred you in some way. But if anything, it just like ha like the process of elimination, you know what I'm saying? Like you tried one thing, it didn't work. Now you can go and try the next thing. Y'all are multifaceted, multi-talented human beings and I really feel that with the page of coins, this is about not giving up on yourself before you even get to start. You're still learning, you're still a student of life no matter how old you are it's never too late that's what i'm gonna say it's never too late some of you guys want to change like your major in school or change what it is that you've been doing um don't be afraid to do that do not be afraid to do that we have yes the cups uh ten of cups the way i talk in spanish is so bad but <laughs> i hope y'all are not making fun of me on the other side of your screen but anyway yeah the yes, essay cups it's about the end goal it's about the bigger picture for y'all okay so where do you see yourselves the possibilities are endless do not limit yourself though you may have expectations in life you may have very um strong emotional attachments to your goals and your ambitions but do not limit yourself to those things because anything can happen miracles are very much a thing miracles are very much real all right so this is about kind of like releasing the expectations for yourself and just going with the flow going with what can happen trust the great mystery and open to infinite possibilities so many things can happen for you right now it's about going with what opportunities are presented to you at the moment so some of you guys have an opportunity to work for like a big company or something like that definitely feel like that might be something that you want to embark on we have cuatro de cups so i my cards are always falling on the floor and getting dusty. So I feel like some of you guys are very much bored with what you were doing now or you were bored with what you are doing what you were doing. Um and I feel like it's time for a switch up, it's time for a change. Don't be afraid to change, okay? And then we have El Fool in reverse. Definitely think about this though. Definitely think about this though. Um, I think that there's something that you're very dead set on. Yeah, there's there's something that you're very dead set on. This is what I'm talking about with the Ocho de Wands, the Eight of Wands. There's a very like tunnel vision goal that you have. You need to open up your mind. You need to open up. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now. At this time, you may have applied for something or you may have like applied for a grant. You may have applied for a scholarship, a school, a job and... I'm not saying that you're not going to get it, but I am saying that you might not get it in the way that you would like or you not you might not get it in the way that you would completely like love to get this thing and you have to be open to the possibility because a lot of you guys are very biased when it comes to your goal, especially with the 10 of cups here. Y'all are very biased when it comes to your goal, not realizing that there are so many other things out there for you. So around this time, you are going to be opening your horizons. You are going to be like opening your mind to different options and ideas and maybe realizing that something that you've been looking at for a while is not really like the best option. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the same way in love for y'all, you know. I feel like maybe you guys are realizing that something isn't the best for you or a relationship isn't the best for you and you are like kind of opening up to the idea of maybe you not being super invested as much as you thought you were. Same thing with career. Maybe you're realizing you're not as much invested as you thought you were in a certain career or a certain area in life and now you guys are opening up your options and opening up your availability for other blessings, other things in your life. 
there is also a decision being made here but realize that you are sitting on golden eggs you are very much capable of taking this time to make that decision and change your mind if you need to you know what i'm saying um but it does feel like you guys will be very busy i will say that you guys will be very busy um if you're not really busy it's because you're bored with what you're doing and you need to switch it up you need to do something new or add something to be a little bit more like productive or feel a little bit more productive okay so now let's look at the spiritual growth that will be happening or the spiritual things that might be happening for April, mid-April to mid-May for water signs. And I'm going to go ahead and get an Angels and Ancestors card for that. Sorry that my camera moves a lot. I have it on the table where I'm also like grabbing my cards from. So yeah. Um... What spiritual growth will water signs be doing mid-April to mid-May? Or like, what are some spiritual experiences water signs may have mid-April to mid-May? Spirit, what is going on spiritually? So we have Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. Look, y'all are really being asked to focus on something. So, that, like, y'all really need to focus on something. We have great teacher learn from spiritual experiences. So I do feel like y'all have many spiritual experiences that can tell you guys about this. Y'all, my dog is screaming right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, Phoebes. Phoebes. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, y'all. Maybe this is like y'all being so distracted. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all are being so distracted in life right now. Like you hear my dog barking? She's trying so hard to distract me. She's trying so hard to pull me away from what I need to do. But it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. So we have make plans and focus. I feel like y'all need to focus on the details right now. Um, the little changes, the little experiences that make things different for you. Like what changes your mind about something what is a non-negotiable thing that is changing your mind about something i also feel like this is saying like protect what you've built for yourself i feel like a lot of people spiritually spiritually a lot of people are going to try to judge you or send energy your way because you want to change something i just got a very specific message all right especially for you water signs i know that you guys like to do a lot of things for the people that you love but there's somebody in your life who um was depending on what it was that you were planning on doing or depending on your energy to get them by and now that you are changing your mind or now that you are shifting focus you are a target like they they just feel like they want to like encourage you in the wrong way you know some of you guys are making a decision to change your mind and they're like nah like you gotta do this you got to stay focused on this. And I'm hearing spirit say, stay focused on what you want to stay focused on, not what somebody else is telling you because they're depending on you. Um, there's a, th this is like a parent, right? Or um, multiple people in your life who are depending on you to um, make money, right? So that they could be well off, that they could, you know, you could pay their rent when you get famous. You could get, you could pay their rent when you get rich. You know what I'm saying? But the route that you want to go in now isn't so like promising right now they want to send you hate now they don't want to support you because what you're doing may jeopardize their success what you're doing may jeopardize what they want for you to do and all i have to say is make the plans you want to make do the things that you want to do because at the end of the day it's just you you know and it does feel like you're being asked to be a little bit more like lonely, you know, work on your own solitude. The song I keep hearing is Solita by Kali Uchis. And I forgot to mention that before, but I'm glad I remembered. I keep, I have this song stuck in my head. Solita, Solita. Yeah, I can't sing, but um, y'all get it. Like that song, Solita means alone, right? I'm alone. Single. So... 
I feel like y'all are definitely like having to defend yourselves alone for a bit right now. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're completely alone. You did get the let your friends help you card. So, you know, it's okay to like talk to your friends about things. Like I said, especially those you feel like you can intuitively trust. But I do also feel like there are people around you who are trying to send you some like distracting energies from what you want to really do yeah we have possession here we have possession here cuatro de bitcoins in reverse and then we have knight of wands in reverse y'all have allowed people to distract y'all for too long and things to distract y'all for too long let me just say that the knight of wands in reverse is like lack of focus you are very lacking like you're lacking so much focus also this is self-sabotage all right so anytime that you get like this opportunity or an opportunity to do what it is that you want you end up kind of messing it up or you feel like you end up messing it up you feel like you end up distracted and off, off the wrong like course or on the wrong course i will say that this energy can end if you just focus right make the plans make that plan make plan a plan b and plan c all right you're smart enough to do so of course release the expectations but um i will say uh plan for someone to try to keep you in a box as well someone's trying to keep you in a box someone's trying to stop you from doing it what it is that you need to do um they're trying to be possessive over you this could be a partner, this could be a parent, like I said before, this could be someone very close to you. Someone doesn't believe, this could even be a boss who doesn't want to let you move out of the energy that you are trying to um, move out of. So, or the job that you're trying to move out of. What else for water signs mid-April to mid-May? Ace the Bitcoins, y'all are getting an opportunity, all right? Y'all are getting an opportunity to focus and thrive take that opportunity let me just say take that opportunity because i really feel like the the um this is a gift this is a hold up hold up this is this is not a this is not a physical gift even though it's the ace of bitcoins this is a spiritual gift this is a gift to see who it is that is trying to fuck with you all right this is a gift to see who it is so if you get the opportunity to figure out who it is that's been like sending you bad energy or not sending you bad energy but trying to have like some sort of possession over you or keep you in a box this is a gift and an ability to see this so i feel like your ancestors spirit guides um they're coming through very strongly with this message pay attention to your dreams and i always say this but especially when we have the spiritual message here um pay attention to like all the ways that you might receive signs and synchronicities ask your spirit guides for a sign okay i really feel like they want to come through and let you know this but you may have been like really distracted or like i said confused in other ways and that might be pulling you away from what it is that you need to know about certain things and certain energies in your life don't keep yourself in a box that's all i'm gonna say do not keep yourself in a box. Somebody's trying to keep you in a box. Somebody's trying to have possession over your spirit, your vitality, your energy. Take your energy away from those people. Shield yourself. Protect yourself, okay? Anything else for the spiritual growth of water signs? And we have page of bitcoins once again. So it seems like your spirituality has a lot to do, like your spiritual growth this time period will have a lot to do with also your... um your career life okay what it is that you want to do what it is that you see yourself doing i feel like right now you are bored with what you are doing because it is simply for other people a lot of other people have this idea of what you should do right now you are shifting perspectives you are shifting what it is that you want to do do not self-sabotage do not procrastinate do not second guess yourself do not i feel like imposter syndrome for this group is also something as well like you guys worked very hard to be where you are right now do not let anybody no, don't let yourself and don't let anybody else trying to convince try to convince you that you have it okay right now you're doing something you do not want to do um or you're in this energy that you do not want to be in um and it's because you're being locked up and you're being possessed by and don't don't take possession as like you know literal demonic possession that's not what i mean but 
somebody else's energy is trying to take hold of yours um trying to keep you in a box you are not meant to be put in a box all right knight of wands in reverse you are meant to be explosive you are meant to be a firework like Katy perry song firework okay do not allow this person or do not allow these people this group of people um it could also be social media y'all watching social media people um doing certain things on social media you feel like you have to follow suit you feel like you have to do the same do not do that to yourself okay um you're robbing yourself of the opportunity to be like the greatest you could be um but i do feel like you're getting an opportunity to see things okay so this could be through nature yeah so like maybe you ask your spirit guides for a blue bird as a sign and you see a blue bird you know what i'm saying with the ace of bitcoins this is like your spirit guides literally offering you signs and synchronicities right in front of your face in your everyday life you know so let's get the last message for water signs mid april to mid may last last message for water signs mid april to mid may Ooh. sorry about that always hit my camera no i had it perfect okay that's fine so we have unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives somebody has a soul contract with you okay there's a soul contract here that you are very much in accord with very much in a connection with that is where that possessive energy is coming from cut those cords call back your power because you're a very powerful person but you're allowing a lot of other people to influence your energy at the moment and we have leap you go first the universe will catch you this is what i'm talking about some of you guys really need to take that leap of faith and change your mind don't be afraid to change your mind. Don't be ashamed of changing your mind. If there's something else that you want to do that you feel like your focus should shift on, do not be afraid to freaking do that because you're allowed to do that. All right, water signs. So that is your reading for mid-April to mid-May. Um, I hope that this resonated or I hope that this will, you know, make sense for you when the time comes. Feel free to come back to this video and watch it whenever you need that clarification or that clarity or those pushes, those motivations. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.